upload the recording with your machine every day i am going to share the google drive link with you i am going to share the google drive link with you what you need to do you need to download the recording and then it's going to be permanent for you because i am going to share that google drive link and might be that link is not going to work after 10 days or 15 days so you need to download the recording that's the important thing that you need to do okay so this is the first session we have so today we are going to discuss about the entire course content about the scope what are the things we are going to cover so we are going to discuss each and everything the entire roadmap of the course this particular course that we are going to start with it's about the python ds data science and bi business intelligence tools basically this is a complete package i am telling you like uh, this is not a good time in the industry like you can say kind of recession is there in the industry and this particular time one particular course is really like uh, every time you people are going to get the requirement of that every time the market exposure of this like i'm talking about the python data science and the business intelligence tool the bi2 and always it's in highly demand and company are looking for their candidates from this particular profile the problem is like people having the understanding about the python might be the people having the understanding of the sql but they don't know how to integrate all these things so we are going to work with the data science kind of stuff we are going to work with the business analytics intelligence tools and all this entire course that we are going to start with this is the weekend session number 1 our session will be on saturday and sunday only because see i can understand like people are working in the companies like you have the job lot of responsibilities everyone having you need to do the job parallelly you need to go with the academics like you need to improve you need to enhance your technical skills so this particular session is the weekend session that we are going to start with. it's only saturday and sunday session we have and normally the batch timing will be the same every day i am going to send the link and everything with you and you need to join the entire duration of the course is going to take around 2 months it's going to take around 2 months the session duration i am talking about is going for 2 hour but this is not important for me like 2 hour is fine but basically my focus will be on the content suppose i am going to cover the particular content on the particular day it might be that content is going to be completed in 1 and 1/2 hour or it might be it's going to be completed in 2 and 1/2 hour so the content is important because we are not playing 20 20 match and we need to finish the game basically it's all about the understanding how you people are going to respond and i need to think about like you need uh, you don't need to be the overburden i cannot cover lot of things at a time and you are going to be overburden you are not going to do the practice parallelly you need to do the assignment also so you need to do some task you need to do some practice the assignments also what i will do i will create the separate group separate whatsapp group will be there separate whatsapp group will be there and uh, in that particular group i am going to put the weekly assignments and all like saturday sunday we have the session i am going to put some assignments on tuesday i am going to put some assignment on thursday so you can do the practice in the meantime during the practice if you are facing the problem you can connect with me in that group any time you can connect with me When, like you are going to drop me the text whenever i will be free i am going to connect with you so it's not like it's a like morning or it's a evening it's a night you can put the text you can just write that your message over there your concern over there your problem over there whenever i am going to get some time i am going to revert you back i am talking about the course content that we are going to cover with see 
I'm working in the company and these are basically my role that I'm working for. Basically my area is like it's a RPA, it's a data science. So I know exactly what the company is looking for. Suppose you need to join the company as a data analyst. So what they are looking for, what you need to do. And I'm telling you, it's a, this one is the smart decision. Like if you are going to work with this, believe me. And if you are going to manipulate some, like if you are going to do some projects and all, if you can manipulate your resumes and all slightly, every time there is the options for this. I'm telling you in my company is like a lot of people like, see, like uh, every company having some movements, like people basically they are just uh, going to resign the company, they are going to get some new jobs and all. So this is the normal pattern in the company. And I'm telling you the people from the Python data science and BI background, like they are having in this particular recession time, people having the three and four different options are there. Three and four different options are there and every time the requirement is there like so that's why we are just going to cover the entire course in such a way that you are not going to feel overburdened and believe me you just need to give the time properly two to three months you need to do the practice because the practice part i cannot do like you need to do the practice because you need to face the interviews what my responsibility is? My responsibility is I am going to give you the, all the description, the detailed description about that, all the practical knowledge, how we are going to link with the topics and all. And then you need to work on that, you need to do the practice. I will share the interviews, questions and all, that what people are going to ask you. So this particular course is really very customized. So first of all, what we are going to start with, we are going to start with the Python. We are going to start with the Python. Python is the base like we can say it's thi this is the alphabets so initially we are going to learn about the python under the python because once your going interview is going to start always it's going to start with the python one hour inter once our interview is going to be start like always the people are going to ask you a lot of questions in the python and the python is the kind of language that if someone is telling you no no i know everything in the python it can't be possible it can't be possible I'm working with this Python I'm telling you it's around uh, 2015 2016 I'm working with the Python partially every time something is there with the Python but uh, still I'm not very much comfortable like uh, still I'm missing some topic over there it's a topic within the topic is there that's I'm missing that's why I'm telling you Python is a kind of language it's a vast language so many libraries are there in the Python and so many things are there in the Python as a trainer our responsibility is I just want to give you those things in the Python that people are going to ask you in the interviews I want to just put all those practical implementation part over there that's you need to write in the Python code in the companies and all so initially what we are going to learn about we are going to learn about the core Python portion we are going to learn about the core python portion under the core python core python like you don't need to underestimate this topic i am telling you like it's a core python you don't need to underestimate this because in the core python i am going to learn uh, what we are going to learn we are going to learn about the operators we are going to learn about the data types we are going to learn about the loop now anyone can tell me no no santos we are very much comfortable with the loop believe me i am going to give you the question even if you are the master in the python you are going to face the trouble with that that's the kind of the python is there like so many things are there in the python so we are just going to learn initially the core python portion under the core python portion we are going to learn about the operators we are going to learn about the input output we are going to learn about the functions we are going to learn about the collection framework like list tuple set dictionaries a string we are going to learn about the error handling we are going to learn about the file handling these are the topic that we are going to cover and every individual topic is particular chapter if i am talking about list it's a kind of chapter we can consider so many things are there so many things are there like so we are going to cover each and everything in the entire detail 
because so many time people are talking about the like uh, they are always talking about the big topics like santosh are you going to cover this or are you going to cover that <laughs> but especially in the python the interview is going to start from the basic question in the basic questions so many things are there so we are going to do all these kind of programs we are going to do all the exercises and with every particular topic so many questions and answers will be there that you people need to do and if you are facing the problem we are going to discuss in the session i will try to cover entire concept in the session itself but the practical questions that you need to do the practice like uh, the examples and all that you need to work on i will share that questions that answers and all that you need to do the practice with after this core python portion we will start with the advanced python portion in the advanced python initially we are going to learn about the oops concept the class and object this is the most important concept whenever we are talking about the programming language here we are going to discuss each and everything we are going to discuss about the class and object we are going to discuss about the pillar of the oops like abstraction encapsulation polymorphism inheritance how we are going to do all these things practically how we are going to implement the constructor how we are going to apply the overloading overriding abstract class we are going to learn everything over there in the oops after that in our course content sql is also there so we will start with the sql portion <coughs> sorry we will start with the sql portion over there why we will start with the sql portion because after this i need to go with the database connectivity i need to go with the database connectivity so for the database connectivity you should have the knowledge of the sql so we are going to learn about the sql as well as we are going to learn about the no sql databases we are also going to learn about the sql and we are going to learn about the no sql in the sql the most important topic that we have that as a developer always we need to work on always we need to do the practice in the interviews you are going to get the questions from these topics so we are going to cover the select we are going to cover the joins we are going to cover the sub queries we are going to cover the select we are going to cover the join we are going to cover the sub queries we are going to cover the sub queries we are going to work with the procedure functions and package we are also going to learn about the cursor we are going to learn all those things that's really implemented in the data science in the bi and all we are going to learn about the select join sub queries procedure functions package cursor all these topics plus we are also going to learn about the no sql nowadays whenever you will go for the interviews people are going to ask you the question like are you familiar with the no sql so we are going to learn about the no sql all the fundamentals of the no sql and we are also going to learn about the mongo db we are also going to learn about the mongo db so this is the database portion that we are going to cover and after that in the python we will start with the database connectivity so once we will start with the database connectivity we are going to apply the select statement we are going to apply the joins we are going to apply the sub queries we are going to invoke the procedure we are going to invoke the package we are going to implement the cursor within the package and all the procedure and all so we are going to make the connections with all this so in the advanced portions we are going to cover all these portions and after that after that python having some special topic over there like iterator generator decorators lambda anonymous function all these kind of a special topic that we are going to cover in separately like these are the topic it's important from the interviews point of view rarely you people are going to apply all this but from the interviews point of view it's really important so we are going to cover all these topic 
So initially we are going to learn about the core Python portion. Then we are going to learn about the SQL and the non-SQL portions. And then we are going to start with the advanced portions and we are going to cover all the special topic over there in the Python. After this, here we are going to work with the project. And this project will be based on database. We are going to work with the project and this project is going to be based on database. Like you can consider like it's going to be like database, uh, like uh, extraction kind of a stuff. You are going to filter the database, you are going to extract the database from other sources and all. So this kind of project we are going to work in the Python. After this Python and the SQL part get completed, here we are going to start with the NumPy and Pandas. This is the most important library in the Python. If you want to work as a, as, as a data engineer or as a data analyst, always you require the NumPy and Pandas. Why I am covering the SQL portion? Because you are going to cover the SQL portion like you are going to work with all the SQL portions. In this portion also, like in the database connectivity, we are going to apply the SQL commands and all. In the same joins and everything, we are going to apply in the NumPy and Pandas also. Okay, so we are just going to learn about the NumPy. NumPy is basically the numeric Python. NumPy is basically, it's all about the array manipulation, how we are going to manipulate the arrays and all. And we are going to learn about the pandas. Pandas is basically how to work with the data frame. It's about the Excel data, the CSV data. So we are going to learn about the NumPy and pandas. After this NumPy, and these are the small topic. In compared to Python, these are the small topic. But it's equally important or it's more important to get the job. From the practical point of view, from the data analyst point of view in the company, always you need to work with the NumPy and Pandas. After this, so basically Python is the language. SQL is the language to manipulate the database. Further, we are going to work with the huge number of data, like array manipulations. For that purpose, we are going to use the NumPy. The Pandas we are going to use for the data frames and all. And after that, we are going to start with the next steps over there. It's a portion of the business intelligence, BI portion I am talking about. Like you are going to prepare your data in the pandas. My data get prepared. Suppose we have the millions of record is there, thousands of record is there. So we have the record. And that record we created using the NumPy, the pandas, using the Python and all. We are getting the data from the different sources and all. So your data is prepared. Once your data is going to be prepared, what you need to do? You need to present the data in the form of uh, like visuals, in the form of graphics, some form, like good graphical formats and all. For that purpose, we are going to learn about the Power BI and also we are going to learn about the Tableau. Even though we have the option, like I can only work with the Power BI, it's going to work. I can only work with the Tableau, it will work because might be the company they are and parallelly both are both is important like some of the company they are using the power bi some of the company they are using the tableau some of the company the purpose is same purpose is same power bi is more advanced in the visuals power bi is basically the etl tools but due to licensing and all people are also using the tableau so we cannot say like I don't have the knowledge of the tableau like, like I don't want to like there will be the extra options for you if some company is looking for the tableau you can go for that if some company is looking for the power bi you can go for that so we are going to learn about the tableau and power bi basically in the tableau and power bi we are going to represent our data so try this is the entire course content we have we are going to learn about the Python, the core portion, the advanced portions. We are going to learn about the SQL and NoSQL. We are going to learn about the NumPy and Pandas. We are going to learn about the Power BI and Tab. These are the entire course content that we are going to cover. Now, might be you people having some questions in your mind. 
I am trying to give you the answer. The entire course that I am talking about, it's related with the data, data science. Remember in the data science, mainly we have the three different profiles are there. When I am talking about the profile in the data science, mainly we have the three profiles over there. Like you can join any organization or the company as data engineer. It might be you are going to join the company organization as data engineer, as a data analyst, as a data analyst. And the third one is data scientist. The three different options are there, data engineer, data analyst and data scientist. Remember, for the data engineer, Python, NumPy, Pandas and SQL, it's enough as well as the NoSQL. Responsibility of the data engineer is to collect the data, to build the data. How you are going to build the data? getting the data from different sources, getting the data from the database, getting the data from the NoSQL databases, getting the data, uh, scrapping the data from the web. So as a data engineer, your responsibility is to build the data, collect the data. And for that purpose, we have the Python, the NumPy, the Pandas, and bulk of the data we are talking about, because the data engineers, like it's all about the data. And but the problem is here, we don't have the 10 or 20 or 50 record. Here we have the 50,000, 50 million record kind of stuff. You are going to play with the data. Like you are getting the data from the table and millions of the record is coming that you need to manipulate. So as a data engineer, these are the technical skills you require. As a data analyst, responsibility of the data engineer is to build the data. Once you are going to build the data, once your data is going to be ready, I'm going to analyze the data. Suppose I'm going to build the data for the particular companies. Suppose that company belongs for like, uh, it's a, like uh, some organization having some product and all. So I'm going to discuss about the sales data. I'm going to discuss about the inventory and all. So suppose my data is ready. Once your data is ready, I'm going to analyze the data. As a data analyst, what I need to do? I need to see the cell. Like what was the cell in 2022? What was the cell in 2024? I want to see like what is the current status of the inventory? What was the status of inventory in 2022? So I need to analyze the data because I want to see the pattern. Like suppose company is in the profit. I want to see what was the status in the last year. What was the status in 2020? So as a data analyst, we are going to check how the company is performing, all the past record, all the track we are going to maintain. So as a data analyst, finally what I need to do along with these topics, data analyst always required the Power BI and Tableau. And Tableau. And the next one is as a data scientist, data scientist is a kind of person having the knowledge of all these things plus they should have the knowledge of ML and DL, machine learning and deep learning algorithm. Remember initially no one is going to ask you to join the organization as data scientist. Even though they are going to give you the profile some of the companies in India they are going to give you the profile of data analyst, but you are going to write the SQL queries. You are going to create the presentations in the Power BI. So as a data scientist, you are not going to get the job easily. And initially, if you have the experience of four years, five years, six years, after that, you can think about the data scientist. For the data scientist, you need to complete this ML and DL. What we are covering, we are covering only these two things the data engineer part and the data analyst part. To be a data scientist, once you are going to get the job as a data engineer or as, as a data analyst, after three, four years, you can attempt for this data scientist, number one. Number two, it's required some ML and DL stuff and all that you need to learn. 
they have a separate badge for that because this person required more commitment from their candidate side because it's highly required some mathematical backgrounds and all so that's why I'm not talking about this portion I'm talking about these three portion and believe me only if you are going to cover the Python and NumPy and Pandas you are going to get the job if you have the knowledge of the Python NumPy Pandas and SQL you are going to get the job here I'm covering each and everything so either it's going to be the data engineer or it's going to be the data analyst and we are going to work with the Power BI project Power BI project also and the Tableau project also whatever the data we are going to create using this portion we are going to work on that data and we are going to work with the Power BI and Tableau so this is the entire syllabus we have some of the time people are approaching me toward this ML and DL but my first question is there like are you familiar with these two things because for this particular person a lot of competitions in the market that you are going to face definitely it's a high paying job definitely this one is the high paying job but the problem is for this high paying job you have the competitions with IITNs you have the competitions with all the PhD holders and all so initially normal trend is start with these things and then once you are going to be the experienced one then you can approach for this particular thing and definitely it's going to take time it's not going to be complete in one month or two months at least you need to give four to five months honestly speaking at least you need to give the four to five months properly then only you can be the data scientist you can learn all these things so this particular we are going to cover entire these two things over here and I am telling you so many times like people are coming to me and they are just asking for me the python and numpy and panda then they are getting the job because once you are familiar with the python numpy and pandas you are going to easily you are going to get the job even you don't need to work on the advanced python if you are going to work with the core python plus numpy and pandas you are going to get the job as a data analyst and people are getting these kind of job and every time even the recession time i am telling you in my companies i am getting like uh, people having the option three four different options are there for the from the different company because the it's always in demand it's high in demand and the good thing about the entire technology is going to be sustained this is the future like it's not only the future this is the present and the future so people are going through with all this got my point so this is the entire course content we have we are going to cover everything practically whenever the theoretical portion is required we are going to do that but everything we are going to cover it practically I am going to consider like uh, from the beginning I am going to start with everything I am going to start it from the zero so it might be you don't have the programming background it might be you don't have the programming skills you don't need to worry about it might be you are from the different background you don't need to worry about I am going to cover everything from the beginning you just need to follow the recording do the practice and make it complete that's it so this is the entire thing from my side after every session the recording will be there with every particular topic your people are you people are going to get the notes and everything will be there all kind of support interviews questions and yeah definitely I'm not going to be your proxy so many time I'm getting the message from the candidate Santos uh, uh, can you be the proxy for me no no boss I cannot do that some moral some ethics is also there no I cannot do the proxies and all uh, this thing we cannot do that and no use of that I am telling you a lot of time it's happened like uh, we are also working as consultant for some USA based companies like th the consultant are there like uh, they are providing the trainings to the USA candidates and all at that time we need to do some kind of stuff over there and believe me people are getting the trouble like once they are in the job once they are in the company they are getting the trouble like honesty is the best policy boss if you are not if you cannot do the things properly better leave it otherwise if you want to get the job do the things practically like honestly you need to try and it's going to be beneficial for everyone so this is how the entire course content and everything is there so any questions from your side any queries from your side because this is the first session so we can discuss each and everything any queries any questions from your side I clearly mentioned what are the things we are going to cover 
I clearly mention what are the things I am not going to cover, how it's going to be beneficial for you, and why I am covering only these two portion. I just explain you why because for this portion you need to wait. At least you should have the experience of five years, six years in the data. Then only you can go for the data scientist and all. Because this particular portion is having lot of competitions in the market with highly skilled people, mainly from the ITNs, mainly from the researcher, the PhD and all. Academics should be very strong. Otherwise, your experience should be good. Yeah. So anyone having any questions from your side, like any questions from your side. so we can discuss about that today yes please anyone having no any question. questions any query please no sir no nothing yeah rajesh ravi hema Yes, no, any questions from your side? No, I just say, sir. Yeah, Monica, any questions from your side? 